rebuke to the Trump administration, which argued the law did not extend to claims of gender identity and sexual orientation. Passion fruit growers are pleading with supermarkets to reduce the price of single fruits to lift sales after months of short supply. Large quantities of the fruit are now hitting the market after a stressful 18 months for farmers who have battled everything from drought to too much rain. Passion Fruit Australia Vice President Jane Richter joins me now. And Jane, you're also a grower. There's an oversupply of passion fruits right now. How has that come about? Look, it's, it's probably been 18 months in the making. Um, we have had some extraordinary weather, weather conditions across all of our four main growing regions. Uh, people who really love their passion fruit on a pavlova at Christmas would have noticed that the fruit were quite scarce and therefore were quite expensive. And that was really main due, mainly due to the, the severe drought conditions that we had been experiencing, in fact, are still experiencing in the major growing regions, Bundaberg, the Sunshine Coast here and northern New South Wales. Um, our growers up in far north Queensland actually had far too much rain last year. So the first six months of the year, there was not even a single sunny day to be had. So all of those factors have sort of combined to mean that the vines that are actually in the ground are all producing fruit all at once mm -hmm. and pushing it out in what would normally be a, a winter flush. We would see relatively large volumes of passion fruit, but across the you know, spread across a sort of two month period, what we've essentially got here is all four of our regions pumping out very high volumes of fruit in a very short period of time. And, and this is actually, actually, I hate to use the word, but it's unprecedented mm. in the passion fruit industry. Um, this is just an occurrence that we you know, haven't had in, in a very, very long time. And has this glut hit the supermarket shelves already or is it just about to? Look, the supply has been high probably for about a week and a half. Mm -hmm. I would say what's happening at the moment is it's actually backing up um, through the supply chain, which means that in our central markets in each of the states, there's large quantities of fruit that um, obviously only has a certain amount of shelf life. Uh, the longer that it sits there, unfortunately, the lower the price that will ultimately be for the growers who've absolutely sweated blood and tears to produce beautiful spotless passion fruit. That's, that's the state that it's in when it gets popped in a box and, and leaves their farms. Um, so, you know, we, we really are asking for assistance to help clear the log jam effectively of, of fruit that there is out there. And, and the feedback that we get through our social media channels in particular is that we know a lot of Australians really love passion fruit, but the single price point that there is often for passion fruit of, of over a dollar is just, it's just too much. Um, for people to be able to fork out on a regular basis. So we're really just looking for some red hot specials mm. um, to help move that passion fruit at this point in time. Well, that's what you've been calling on the supermarkets to do, to lower that price of the fruit. Uh, and I understand it looks yeah. like the call has somewhat been answered. Um, you've featured on the ABC website and also Facebook today, and there has been some movement on that front. Yes. Yes, look, I think the response that, uh, to the ABC News story that, um, that, w that came out on your Facebook page this morning, the consumer response to that has been absolutely enormous. Um, and at the end of the day, our major grocery retailers, you know, they're here to service the needs of Australian consumers. Um, and I think they've recognised that actually there are an awful lot of people who'd like to be able to buy passion fruit, but for whom, you know, that, that price point is just a little bit too tight. Uh, and, you know, they are ultimately um, commercial businesses. They recognise that there's a deal to be done. And I understand that those deals are being done at the moment and consumers can look forward to seeing some really fantastic promotions on, on passion fruit in the next week or two. Isn't pricing all about supply and demand, though? So why do you have to appeal to supermarkets to get the price down? Look, I think passion fruit is one of the more unique industries in horticulture where effectively, I would say 80% of our farms are literally small family businesses like, like my own. My, my husband and I do pretty much all of the work on our farm, and that's very common in the passion fruit industry. So you don't have any large commercial players that you know, have that ability to influence some of the decisions that are made at a retail level. We are literally all price takers 
not price makers. Um, and as a, you know, a collection of, of small family farms, we simply don't have the ability to influence what happens at retail in the way that it is done in, in some other industries. Well, some good news and hopefully some fruit can uh, start moving. Passion Fruit Australia Vice President Jane Richter, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, Gemma. Businesses are calling for more flexibility as the federal government, unions and employers continue.